What's up, gamers? Unfortunately, my suit got burned in a fire. No, I'm kidding. I just didn't want to put it on. But anyways, um, let's just dive right into this. Because I see so many comments on my speedruns. Like, what the hell is going on? And what, one that I see all the time is like, I, I didn't think Cruelty Squad could get any more confusing. Well, let me get rid of all the, uh, the confusion and the doubt. Um, and yeah, I want to do my, my favorite run that I've ever done, which is the Archon Percent Stock Market. So what does that mean? I had to beat Archon Grid as fast as I can without skipping any levels, and I have access to the stock market. So the reason you see me quitting out before I start the run is um, it resets uh, what point in the cycle the stocks are. So VME, it goes on this pre-recorded path every time, and it crashes very early. And basically when a stock crashes, you can pick up like 500 of them for $500 because it costs $1 a pop. In doing this, you could sell it at six dollars and quickly multiply your money. So that's what I do. So this little chart right here um, in the stock market, the way it goes up and down, it's the same time, same thing every time. And resetting the game starts it over. So I know when it peaks out and when I should buy it. So this is just um, manipulation. You can see it goes up to nine here. That's the highest it goes down to seven, then it plummets back down, and then it goes back down. But you can see, I started with five hundred dollars, and now I have like forty thousand, and it'll keep going up until I get enough money to buy the equipment. All right, now that we have this equipment, we could actually do Abominator early, which is a glitch I discovered earlier this year uh, that I've been looking for forever. So it was never quicker to get the Abominator before um, beating Pharma. But I figured out a way to get it without having to get cursed. You just go past the cursed door out of bounds and then clip back inbounds. And the hardest part about this was figuring out how to clip back inbounds, but I, I got lucky. I was just under, under the platform spamming crouch and it just forced my body through it. I couldn't believe it actually happened. but. Yep, so there you go. It's possible to grab the Abominator very quickly. Now I'm just setting up the God menu. And so, okay, that's a lot. Let me pause. That's a lot at once. So I just grabbed the Abominator. You're not allowed, you're not supposed to do that without getting cursed, which wastes time because you got to go pick up the cursed orb. And then after, you have to get cleansed because cursed levels are longer. You know, they have extra targets, so it wastes a lot of time. So basically, getting cursed and cleansed takes around 30 seconds. So I could skip that completely, and that actually makes getting the Abominator early viable. And now we're doing the God menu to get the most broken items, the Rocket Launcher and the ACR. And this takes a while. And I have a video explaining um, the God menu, but basically you freeze either, either the end of level menu or the suicide menu, or the death menu. And this lets you mess up a lot of things. Sort of in the same way that level skip works where if you interrupt the scrolling out of levels, the ones that haven't scrolled out yet will be accessible. That's how this works. And this is like pretty frame tight. I'm trying to get the rocket launcher. And it's one of the first weapons that scrolls out. That's why it's so difficult. You can see I finally got it here. Let's see. You see I got it. Oh, no, no, not even. Yep, yeah, right there. So that, and that's so hard to do. So it took me that long, what was it, like three minutes? just to get the rocket launcher. You see the ACR took no time at all. And then yeah, Pharma. And so I mess up Pharma here actually. This is a new strat. I had to come up with a new way to be Pharma when you have the Abominator. That's consistent. This took forever to figure out. Now I don't even hit the shot. And this honestly was kind of a blessing in disguise because for the rest of the run I was thinking to myself, man, this run sucks. I really messed up Farmo. I lost like six, seven seconds there. So I didn't have any pressure going into the rest of the run, which was good because the rest of the run was pretty nice. But yeah, obviously that was a mistake. Should have hit the guy. All right, Paradise, new strats are just basically carpet bombing. It's hilarious how broken you are. Yeah, Bomber really just splits this game in half like a coconut. And then the god menu. Yeah, this game is just... There's so much stuff going on. And 
And the god menu works because you open up the settings menu when you open up the end of level menu or the death menu. And what that does is it gets rid of the, um, it gets rid of all of the, um, I don't know how it works, but it gets rid of the code that says it, the menu should get closed. It just deletes it. So the menu stays there forever until you, um, either bring up a new end of level menu, kill yourself, or you leave the game. It's the only ways to get rid of it. So this is pretty standard levels most for the most part now. Like Androgen, you just go and zap. I get lost here though. Let's see it. Yeah, I fly off. Yeah, I get lost. All right, and then here's Maul. To me, this is the turning point in the run because you know he just refused to die. Sometimes it's the most annoying thing ever. And that's such a huge troll. If the mall guy doesn't die, then it's just like suffering. All right, so here I clip through the ceiling. If you crouch in Abominator, let's go back. So you see how I Abominator and I'm also crouched. I just boost forward to above the oven. Then I unabominator and then uncrouch. And that's what puts me through the ceiling. But that's only only works on the older versions of the game. Ah oh, man, I forgot to mention. I'm using an older version of the game. Most of these tricks don't work on the new version. I'll put something in the, the beginning of the video. And I'll also leave a link in the description on how to down patch. This is a pretty useful vid that I use myself. It takes about 10 minutes to do. This is pretty standard. I was actually supposed to use my sleep pistol, but I forgot in the moment and just autopiloted and it worked out. Bog, pretty standard, just fly and kill. Not that quick. Pretty standard, fly and kill. Oh, not standard. Sorry. So you see at the start of the menu how I open the settings menu and then unpause? That's called setting storage, and that's just basically half of the god menu setup done um, in no time. God menu is just so broken. Alright, now I'm going to complete the god menu by opening up the settings menu when I kill myself. Then I'm going to sneak in, I think, the Riot Pacifier and the uh, Raymond. Yep. Then, Idiot Party, we do an Abominator clip. So basically, if you're Abominator, you're falling towards the floor, and then you crouch. And you bonk your head to the floor, your head will go through the floor. And it gives you just enough time to shoot a smoke grenade down. And that's what I do there. It's It seems really hard, and if you try it without knowing how it works, it's going to be difficult. But that one's, I get that basically every time now. I should do a tutorial on that, because people seem to have trouble with that one. It's really easy. Alright, so this mall strategy has been refined over... Jeez, I can't tell you how many times I've done this level. So normally if you kill the guy there, that's the last guy you gotta kill, but I got unlucky because that guy chose not to go out the window. So I lost around like four or five seconds, which is that's fine. So in total there's like around twelve seconds of error, I think, in this video. Or in this run. Hmm. Not bad. But someone else could definitely beat this. Just a matter of learning all the tricks. But once you have them learned, it's they all feel really consistent. Yep. And I was looking at the timer when I hit the thing. I was like, no way. And that's it. That's the first sub three ever in Cruelty Squad. So I hope you guys enjoyed.